Hi guys. Um, today is our first class, and like we always do, we're going to go over the author introduction. And this month, um, let's see. Yeah, this month the author's name is Karen Hess, and that's what she looks like. Of course, she might have changed a little bit. Um, about Karen Hess. Let's see, she was born in Baltimore, Maryland, in the United States of America. She was born on August 29th, 1952. So, I think if you add up the age, it's probably about set, oh no, 67 or 68, right? And the genre is, she writes children's literature and literature for young adults. So young adults would mean um, students in their middle school or high school, but she also writes for children, so that includes all of you. And let's talk about her childhood first. Um, while growing up, she dreamed of becoming many things. So she didn't want to be an author from the first place. Um, she also wanted to become an archaeologist, an ambassador, an actor, and an author. And I think you guys would also have many dreams. Or um, actually, these days, not many kids have dreams. And that's okay. Alright. Um, let me see if I can use this. Oh, yay! So, hi, Kate. Alright, and hi Stephanie. Alright, so second, from the time she was 10, she thought of herself as good with words. Okay, thanks to a perceptive and supportive fifth grade teacher. This means um, in the fifth grade, her teacher was very supportive and I guess she had insight, like 통찰력, right? Um, and she thought Karen Hess was a good writer. She's good with words. And if you look, let's see. Hmm. There we go. The teacher believed Karen could be a professional writer someday. And because the teacher believed, Karen also believed that too. So I guess this means it's important how a teacher can influence um, one's life um, just because the teacher believed that Karen could be a professional writer someday she also believed so and eventually she did become a very famous writer okay let's go on to the next page wow that's a lot she has earned wages as a waitress so this means she made money okay she made money working as a waitress a nanny a librarian, a personnel officer, an agricultural laborer, an advertising secretary, a typesetter, a proofreader, a mental health care provider, a substitute teacher, and a book reviewer. So I provided um, an, an image for you right here. So this is a lot of different types of part-time jobs. Okay. Now, she studied poetry at nearby Towson State College and married Randy Hess in 1971 before completing her studies. Um, you know how when you get married, you use your husband's last name. Not in Korea, but in America they do. And that's why her name is Karen Hess. Alright. So we have this picture of a person writing. So after graduating, she moved with her husband to Brattleboro, Vermont, and had two children. Her, their, their names are Rachel and Kate. Oh, Kate! Yay, Kate! Okay, they took jobs in publishing and started writing children's books. So I guess that's when they um, started writing, or professionally. Now if you look at this, it's a book also written by Karen Hess. And if you look at the title, it says Wish on a Unicorn. And there is a story behind this. We'll see what that is. 
Her first novel was a rejected story. So this is her first novel. Okay, but it was rejected. It was、um, not accepted. Okay, and the story was about meeting Bigfoot. Okay, but her next proposal was published. So that means、uh, on her first try she didn't succeed, but on her next try she did succeed.、Um, this was published by Henry Holt in 1991, and the title was Wish on a Unicorn. Okay. Now about the book that we're gonna be reading in September, it's called Out of the Dust. Okay, a little bit of basic information.、Um, this picture here, I think this is Billy Joel. Billy Joel, that's the main character. Okay, and I think it's a she. I'm not gonna tell you.、Um, Out of the Dust is a story of a girl. Oh, here they have the answer. Living through the dust bowl of the depression. If you can guess what dust bowl is, what's a bowl? A bowl is something that looks like this, right? And we use this when we eat. We put food here, right? But if you call it the dust bowl, it's like a bowl made of dust. All right. Next, the mother of the central character dies, so Billy Joe's mother dies. And after the mother dies, Billy Joe and her father try and continue on with their lives. Okay, let's see. No,、oh, I can't erase this. What's this? Oh, it's a pointer. I didn't know this. All right. Um, let me just continue then. How about this one? So there is mom, Billy Joe. And dad. Now, because the mom is dead, right? Billy Joe and her father try to go on with their lives, which means、um, keep on living, okay, without the mom. Can you imagine how hard that would be? Okay. Next. Oh no! So there's some kind of a tragedy. A tragedy occurred. And can you see what this is? It's a cradle. It's a Um, it's like a bed that swings or sways back and forth or sideways,、um, and babies sleep in them. Baby cribs. Okay.、Um, Billy Joe isn't comfortable with her father, but does as what she's told. So this means when the father tells Billy Joe to do something, she follows. Okay. Although she doesn't feel comfortable. Um, I don't know who he is anymore. He looks like my father, smells like my father, but he's like a stranger. If you look at this, they have the quotation marks, which means、um, it's a quote. Okay, so I think this is said by Billy Joe. So she doesn't know who her father is anymore. Okay, we'll find out about that. Oh. Let's look at the form. It's a first-person narration, which means it's written in idin ching si jam, and it's a free verse. It's a poetry. Okay, so this book is a little bit different from the books that we have been reading in the past few months.、Um, it's historical because it is about the Dust Bowl or the Great Depression in the United States of America,、um, and the content. It's about fictionalized events. And that means fictionalized means it's not real, okay? Oh, we see this keyword te gong hang, right? Harsh reality of the Oklahoma Panhandle during the Great Depression. So here, harsh reality means it's not easy. Okay, the reality was very hard, very tough, and severe. And Oklahoma Panhandle, it's a place, okay? The Oklahoma Panhandle, located in the southwestern Great Plains region of the United States, was known as the Dust Bowl. So we know here、um, that the Oklahoma Panhandle, this location, was also known as the Dust Bowl. Okay. Oh, other keywords. Let's see. During the 1920s and 30s, farmers plowed up grasslands to plant wheat. Okay, here we see what wheat is.、Um, draw 
violent dust storms and tornadoes that hit the area caused soil erosion. Okay, so bad environmental problems, um, disasters. Consequently, the farmers and their families suffered unbelievable hardship and poverty. Okay, I guess, okay, so because of these natural disasters, people suffered and they have gone through poverty. What does poverty mean? Poverty means you are in deep hunger, the state of hunger. Okay, you're hungry all the time. All right.